Read the operating manual thoroughly before attempting to operate your H&S tool clamshell. Pay close attention to the hazard warnings, as there is the possibility of injury due to very sharp objects, components falling, pinch points in and around the tool, burns due to heat from cutters, chips, and hydraulic fluid when applicable, electrical shock when applicable, and strains from heavy lifts. Always wear an approved hard hat, gloves, and eye and ear protection. Do not wear loose-fitting clothing that may get caught in rotating equipment. Your H&S tool clamshell comes with all of the tools and accessories necessary for operation. Remove all of the contents to make sure that everything is correct. Here it's important to know if locator pad extensions are needed. Each locator pad has a 3 quarter inch or 19.1 millimeters adjustment, the most of any tool on the market. This allows installation on a pipe OD that is as much as 1 and 1 half inch or 38.2 millimeters smaller than your model's inside diameter. If the pipe is smaller than the 1 and 1 half inch dimension, locator pad extensions must be used. A chart is provided in the printed manual. Now is the time to assemble the locator pad extensions if they're needed. Unpack the tools needed to assemble the clamshell. Assemble the two halves of the clamshell around the pipe to be machined by aligning the locator pins in the one half with the matching holes in the other half. Engage the main body and ring gear swing bolts and tighten all finger tight. Using the ratchet and socket provided, tighten all swing bolts securely. Establish your cut line now. The back of the clamshell ring must be at the proper distance from your cut line prior to tightening the locators. The AFC series dimension is 5.1 inches or 129.5 millimeters. The locators are used to center the clamshell on the pipe and to lock the clamshell securely in place for machining. Once the clamshell is properly positioned, adjust the locators approximately the same amount to establish the rough centering. A square is provided to check that the clamshell is square to the pipe surface. A rule can be used to measure the distance between the outside of the pipe and the inside of the ring for more precise centering. <music> Tighten the locators securely. Assemble the tool slides onto the ring gear with the four cap screws provided for each slide. Use the mounting holes on the tool slide that will easily clear the pipe surface while not requiring overextension of the cutting bit to reach the pipe. Tighten all mounting bolts. Insert the tool bit into the tool slide. Make sure that the bevel angle, if used, is facing in the proper direction. This is a good time to double check your position to the intended cut line. 
Make any necessary adjustments now. Lock the tool bit into the slide. Remove the lock pins and rotate the tool by hand to ensure that there are no obstructions and to confirm the centering position. If the tool bit is the same distance from the pipe surface at every locator position, you're properly centered. Rotate the tool again to confirm that all positions are accurate and ready for machining. When using two tool slides, insert the second tool bit into the slide at approximately the same distance from the pipe surface as the first one. In case one bit is a narrow design, shims have been provided to adjust the cutting edge to the proper position. The tripper assembly is now mounted in the machined slot on the body ring. Check that the tripper pin has full contact with the star wheel on the tool slide and that it's positioned approximately half the distance into the star segments. The base can be adjusted in and out, and the tripper pin can be adjusted up and down to achieve the proper distances. H&S clamshells can be driven by pneumatic, hydraulic, and electric motors. Our patented pocket-style motor mount accepts all drive motor assemblies without requiring adapters or adjustment. Make sure that the mount is seated properly into the machined area of the body before tightening the cap screws. Pneumatic powered tools have an air caddy provided that injects lubricant into the air supply to prevent motor damage. Make sure that the lubricant reservoirs are full. Attach the supply line to the intake side of the caddy. Attach the tail hose provided to the tool side of the caddy designated by the flow shutoff valve and the throttle end of the tail hose to the air motor fitting. Always use the lock clips to prevent accidental disconnects. Open the airflow valves on both sides. Using the speed wrench provided, set the final tool bit position just off of the pipe surface. Start the tool and engage the tripper pin. We suggest using a lubricant to cool the tool bit and extend the efficient cutting life. Always be aware of potential hazards. Remember, when severing, the area beneath the piece being removed must be clear at all times. Thank you for choosing H&S Tool. Contact your area representative or the factory with any questions prior to operation.